Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee A Level Mathematics Parametric Equation Chapter Number Eight Section Eight Point Six Mixed Exercise. In this video, we will concentrate on the mixed exercise from Section Eight Point One to Eight Point Five. We will do six questions in this exercise from Question One, Two, Three, Four, Five, and Question Number Six. I have also placed the answer with the question. So you can stop the video and see the answer if you want to. So prepare your pen, paper, and calculator. We are going to do the exercise now. Question number one: The diagram shows a sketch of the curve with the parametric equation x equal to four cosine t, y equal to three sine t, and t is from zero to two pi. This path. Is the two parametric equation a find the coordinate of the point A and point B. So we know that at point A, this one as point A, y is equal to zero. That means zero is equal to three psi t. Psi t is equal to zero. T is equal to zero or pi. So when t is equal to zero. X is equal to four cosine t. That means x is equal to four. When t is equal to pi, x is equal to four cosine t is equal to minus four. So x is equal to four or minus four. At point A, x is a positive. At this point, x is negative. So as point A, as point A. X is equal to four and Y is equal to zero. So the point A is equal to four comma zero. And as point B, as point B here, X is equal to zero. X is equal to zero, and X is equal to four cosine t. So zero equal to four cosine t. That means Cosine t is equal to zero, and t is equal to pi over two, or three pi over two. When t equal to pi over two, y is equal to three psi pi over two, is equal to three. And when t is equal to three pi over two, y is equal to three psi. Three pi over two, and y is equal to minus three. As point B here, y is a positive, and as this point, y is negative. Therefore, at point B, x equal to zero and y equal to three. That means as point B is zero and three. We have found the point A and point B. So part B, the point C has the parameter t equal to pi over six. Find the exact coordinate of C. As point C here, t is equal to pi over six. So we substitute t is equal to pi over six. We got x is equal to four cosine pi over six, and y equal to three sine pi over. Six cosine pi over six is equal to square root three over two, and sine pi over six is equal to half. So x is equal to two square root three, and y is equal to three over two. Therefore, as point C is two square root three comma three over two. This is the coordinates of point C. Finally, one C find the Cartesian equation of the curve. So we got x equal to four cosine t, and y equal to three sine t. We take square of it. We got x square equal to four square cosine square t, and y square is equal to three square sine square. T and we got x square equal to four square 
multiply by 1 minus sine square t, we divide by 4 square. So x square divided by 4 square is equal to 1 minus sine square t, and sine square t is equal to x square over 4 square minus 1. This one is negative. And so sine square is equal to 1 minus x square over 4 square. We substitute 1 minus x square over 4 square into this y equation. We got y square over 3 square is equal to sine square t. So y square over 3 square is equal to 1 minus x square over 4 square. And therefore, the Cartesian equation should be y square over 3 square plus x square over 4 square is equal to 1. And this equation is a elliptic equation. We got the answer. Question number 2. A curve has parametric equation x equal to e to the power 2t plus 1 plus 1 and y equal to t plus log 2, and t is greater than 1. Find a Cartesian equation of this curve in the form y equal to fx, x greater than k, where k is a constant to be found in the exact form. So if we have x equal to e to the power 2t plus 1 and plus 1, so e to the 2t plus 1 is equal to x minus 1. And we take log of it. We got 2t plus 1 equal to log x minus 1. So 2t is equal to log x minus 1 minus 1. And t is equal to log x minus 1 over 2 minus half. So t is equal to this, and we substitute t equal to this one into the y equation. We got y equal to t plus log 2, and y is equal to log x minus 1 over 2 minus 1 plus log 2. So it's y is equal to log square root x minus 1 minus 1 plus log 2. So we got y equal to log square root x minus 1 plus log 2 minus 1. Sorry, this would be minus half. Minus half and minus half. Because these two log is act together, this means the values in this is multiplied together. We got log 2 square root x minus 1 minus a half. And this is the Cartesian equation from these two parametric equations. B part. Write down the range of fx leaving your answer in the exact form. The range of fx is y. When t is greater than 1, that means y is equal to t plus log 2. When t equal 1, y is equal to 1 plus log 2. And if t is greater than 1, y is greater than 1 plus log 2. This is the range of the Cartesian equation y equal to log 2 square root x minus 1 minus a half. Question number three. A curve has a parametric equation x equal to 1 over 2t plus 1 and y is equal to 2 log t plus half. t is greater than half. Find a Cartesian equation of the curve in the form y equal to fx and state the domain and the range of the fx. We know that x is equal to 1 over 2t plus 1. So 2t is equal to 1 over x minus 1. And 2t is equal to 
1 over 2x minus half. We substitute t equal 1 over 2x minus half into the y equation. So we have y is equal to 2 log t plus half and equal to 2 log and t substitute in here we got 1 over 2x minus half plus half. So y is equal to 2 log 1 over 2x. So y is equal to log 1 over 2x to the square. And y is equal to log 2x to the minus 2. So it's log 2 to the minus 2 plus log x to the minus 2. And 2 to the minus 2, so it's equal to minus log 4 plus minus 2 log x. So y is actually equal to minus log 4 minus 2 log x. Now we find the domain of this equation. When t is greater than half. So when t is equal to half, x is equal to 1 over 2 times half plus 1. So x is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 is equal to half. So when t is greater than half, x should be less than half. This is the domain of the equation. And the ring of the equation, when we set x equal to half, y is equal to 2 log t plus half. So y is equal to 2 log half plus half. So y is equal to 2 log 1. And log 1 is equal to 0. So when t is greater than half, y is greater than 0. This is the range of the equation. And this one is the domain of the equation. Question number 4. The curve C has the parametric equation x equal to 2 minus 3t over 1 plus t and y is equal to 3 plus 2t over 1 plus t. t is from 0 to 4. Show that the curve C is part of a straight line. We know that x is equal to 2 minus 3t over 1 plus t. And we cross multiplication, we got x plus xt equal to 2 minus 3t. And we take all the t to the left hand side, we got x plus 3t is equal to 2 minus x. So we take the t out, we got t multiplied by x plus 3 equal to 2 minus x. So t is equal to 2 minus x over x plus 3. We substitute t equal to x plus 3 into this y equation, y is equal to 3 plus 2t over 1 plus t. So y is equal to 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2 minus x over x plus 3 over 1 plus 2 minus x over x plus 3. And we multiply the numerator and the denominator by x plus 3. So we got 3x plus 9 plus 2 multiplied by 2 minus x over x plus 3 and all over by x plus 3 plus 2 minus x over x plus 3. And we multiply the numerator and the denominator by x plus 3. We got 3x plus 9 plus 4 
minus 2x over x plus 3 plus 2 minus x. So x minus x cancel out and 3x minus 2x we got x. So we got x plus 13 over 5. So we have the form y is equal to 1 fifth x plus 13 over 5. And you know that this is the form of y equal to mx plus c, where m is equal to 1 over 5 and c is equal to 13 over 5. So this is a strict line equation with the loop of 1 over 5 and the constant and the intersection x equal to 0, y is equal to 13 over 5. So this is a straight line. So we prove that the curve C is part of a straight line. So in part B, we find the length of the segment. We find the length of the segment, that means we find when t equal 0. x is equal to 2 minus 3 times t over 1 plus t so it's equal to 2 and when t is equal to 4 because the range of t is from 0 to 4 so when t is equal to 4 x is equal to 2 minus 3 times 4 over 1 plus 4 so it's equal to 2 minus 12 over 5. 2 minus 12 is minus 10 over 5, so it's minus 2. So we got the x coordinates is from 2 to minus 2. When x equal to 2, y is equal to 1 fifth times 2 plus 13 over 5, so y is equal to 3, when x equal to 2. So when x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 1 fifth times minus 2, plus 13 over 5. And y is equal to 11 over 5, when x is equal to minus 2. So we have two pawn. From here is two and three, and the other pawn is minus two, eleven over five. So we want to see how long is this two pawn. We use the right angle triangle of one pawn to the other pawn. We calculate the length of this pawn. So we got it is. The length square is equal to x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. So L square is equal to, if we let's say x1 is 2 and x2 is minus 2, 2 minus minus 2 is 2 plus 2 square plus y1 is 3 and y2 is 11 over 5, so it's minus 11 over 5 to the square. So we got L square is equal to 4 to the square plus 4 over 5 to the square. So it's equal to 4 to the square multiplied by 5 to the square plus 1 over 5 to the square and is equal to 4 to the square times 26 over 5 to the square. And if we take square root of this, we got L is equal to 4 times square root 26 over 5. And this is the length of the life segment. Question number 5. A curve C has the parametric equation x equal to 2 cosine t and y is equal to 2 side t minus 5, t is from 0 to pi. Show that the curve c form a part of a circle. So we take square of x, so x square is equal to 
4 cosine square t and y is equal to 2 sine t minus 5. So we got cosine square t is equal to x square over 2 square. And we know that cosine square t is equal to 1 minus sine square t is equal to x square over 2 to the square. So sine square t is equal to 1 minus x square over 4. And in here, if we take 2 sine t is equal to y plus 5 sine t is equal to y plus 5 over 2 and sine square is equal to y plus 5 to the square over 2 to the square so we know that sine square t is 1 minus x square over 4 equal to y plus 5 to the square over 4. We take x and y into the left hand side and the number to the right hand side we have y plus 5 to the square over 4 plus x square over 4 equal to 1 and we multiply by 4 from the left hand side and right hand side we have y plus 5 square plus x square is equal to 4. So we have the form is y minus a to the square plus x minus b to the square equal to r to the square and this is the formulas of the circle with the center of A and B. And from here to here, we got A is equal to minus 5 and B is equal to 0. R is equal to 2. This is the equation of a circle. Uh, if this circle is a complete circle, the T value should be from 0 to 2 pi but now the t value is only from 0 to pi that means this is half of a circle so we prove the curve c form a part of a circle half of the circle and b part sketch the curve in the given domain of t in the given domains of t that means t is from 0 to pi not 2 pi so when t is equal to 0, x is equal to 2 cosine 0 equal to 2, and y is equal to 2 sine t minus 5. So y is equal to minus 5. This is one of the points. And when t is equal to pi over 2, x is equal to 2 cosine pi over 2. So x is equal to 0. And y is equal to 2 psi pi over 2 minus 5 is equal to minus 3. So we got another point is 0 and minus 3. And if t is equal to pi, x is equal to 2 cosi pi. So x is equal to minus 2 and y equal to 2 psi pi minus 5. Y is also equal to minus 5. We got this three point. So if we sketch the graph, this is the x and this is the y axis. As this one is 0 minus 3, this is the point here. And as this point is 2 minus 5, and as this point is minus 2 minus 5, half of the circle, the circle like this. If the center of the circle is 0 and minus 5, this is also the center of the circle is 0 and minus 5. So we have sketched the graph of this half circle. And part C, find the length of the curve 
in the given domain because this is the half of the circle with the radius of 2. Okay, here, 2 square, 4. So with the radius of 2, the circumference of the circle is circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. But this is only half of the circle, so we half the circumference is equal to 2 pi r over 2. So it's pi r. And r is equal to 2, so the length of this curve is equal to 2 pi. Question number 6. Show that the line with the equation y equal to 4x plus 20 is a tangent to the curve with parametric equation x equal to t minus 3 and y equal to 4 minus t squared. If we have a curve from the parametrics and if we have a line which is not touch the curve, so this line and the curve cannot find the solution. If we have a line cut the curve, we have two solutions that match this equation. And if this line is a tangent to the curve, that means the solution has to be one and only one. So if we have a line y equal to 4x plus 20, and the parametric equation is x equal to t minus 3, and y equal to 4 minus t squared. We substitute this x into here and y into here. We got 4 minus t squared equal to 4 multiplied by t minus 3 plus 20. And we have 4 minus t squared equal to 4t minus 12 plus 20. And we have 4 minus t square equal to 4t plus 8. So we have minus t square minus 4t minus 8 plus 4 is equal to 0. And we have minus t square minus 4t minus 4 equal to 0. t square plus 4t plus 4 equal to 0. And we factorize, we got t plus 2 to the square is equal to 0. So t have only one solution. When we got t plus 2 to the square is equal to 0, t must be equal to minus 2. This is the one and only one solution. That means the line y equal to 4x plus 20 just touch the curve x equal t minus 3 and y equal 4 minus t square. Therefore, y equal 4x plus 20 is a tangent to the curve. We proved. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtong929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我呢個 video。如果你係希望你個 mathematics 同埋你個英文係更加好嘅話咧，你想要一個 private tutor 啦，你可以隨時 contact 我嘅，令到你個 DSE exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因為我都有一啲私人嘅補習喺呢一兩方面嘅。多謝大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。